Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about uh, Amrita University and I am going to give about the total seat matrix update and you can understand the type of competition and the students which are there in different campuses. Before that, lot of parents ask about the quality and the teaching uh, education level and of different campuses, right? So, the important thing is that the NBA, which is National Board of Accreditation, they give accreditation to courses within the different colleges, right? So, there are only few courses which are NBA accredited. So, for applying for NBA accreditation, it should be four years old course and something like that. But if you see campus wise these are the courses which are nba accredited so if you see in the main campus this is coimbatore campus btech aerospace engineering chemical engineering civil engineering these three are accredited and uh, apart from that electrical and electronics engineering uh, computer science and engineering electronics and computer communication engineering mechanical engineering so seven courses as are NBA accredited in Coimbatore campuses. There are much more courses which I will show when I come to seat matrix but only these seven are NBA accredited as of now. The newer generation courses which are started in big quantity right those are yet not NBA accredited. Now let's talk about the other campuses. So in the Amritapuri campus only three courses are NBA accredited which is electrical and electronics engineering, electronics and communication engineering and the last one you can see btech mechanical engineering so you can see not uh, even the csc course computer science and engineering core is also not nba accredited in amritapuri campus so nba accreditation is basically standard by the uh, nba right authority for the quality of the education and the courses now talking about the Bangalore campus, you can see BTech Electronics Engineering and Communication Engineering, BTech Mechanical Engineering, those two courses are NBA accredited and all this I am showing from the mandated discourse document, you can see the page number 10 by 29, so only two courses, right? Now let's further move. For rest of the campus, there are no details provided for NBA accreditation. Only top three campuses they have provided. That means none of the courses may be NBA accredited in those campuses. Now let's see the seat matrix. So you can see it mentions approved intake by AICT for academic year 24-25 for all our campus. So this is taken from mandatory disclosure document. So you can see campus wise Coimbatore campus, Amritapuri campus, Bangalore campus, then Chennai campus and then Amravati campus is mentioned. Then Cochin, Mysore few campus are there which where engineering is not there and last column is total intake. So if you see aerospace 60 seats in Coimbatore campus, chemical engineering also 60 seats in Coimbatore campus, civil engineering 60 seats in Coimbatore campus. Computer science and engineering you can see 480 seats in Coimbatore, 240 in Camp Amritapuri, 180 in Bangalore and 180 also in the Chennai campus and 240 in the Amaravati campus. So total 1560 CSC seats are there. Next you see CSC with AI, Artificial Intelligence, that also Chennai, uh, Coimbatore campus 240, 120 in Amritapuri, 180 seats in Bangalore campus and 60 seats only in uh, Chennai campus and 180 seats in Amaravati campus. So total 780, so you can see 1560 plus 780 are all computer related courses. Now let's go to the other branches. So BTEC Computer Science and Engineering with Cyber Security. You can see in the main campus 120, 60 in the uh, basically Amritapuri campus. There are these branches not available in the Bangalore campus and 60 was there in the Chennai campus. So total you saw 240 seats are available. 
but i think this year cyber security is also introduced in bangalore campus let's see uh, electronics and communication engineering all the four campus you can see 180 seats in Coimbatore, 120 in Amritapuri, 180 in Bangalore, and 60 in, uh, you know, uh, in uh, Chennai campus, 600 seats. BTEC, Computer Science and Communication Engineering, CCE, only available in Coimbatore, main campus, 126, 60 in Chennai, and 60 in Amaravati, 240 seats. BTEC Electronics in and Computer Engineering only in Bangalore and Amritapuri campus, 60 seats each. Electrical and Electronics Engineering, right? 120 in main campus, 60 in Amritapuri, 30 in Bangalore. So, number of seats of Tripoli in Bangalore is very small. Electrical and Computer Engineering, 120 seats in main campus, 60 in Bangalore, 60 in Amritapuri. Total 240 seats and BTEC Mechanical Engineering 120 seats in the main campus, 60 in uh, uh, you know Amritapuri, 30 only seats in Bangalore and 30 seats only in Chennai campus. So total 270 seats. So number of seats are very limited, not that high as VIT, Vellore, or SRM. Amrita University has lesser number of seats, right? So you can see automation and robotics only in the main campus, 60 seats. I think 30 seats are somewhere else. Uh, BTEC Artificial Intelligence Data Science, 240 seats in the main campus, 60 in Amrita Puri and 60 in Bangalore campus. Total and 120 seats also there in the Faridabad campus, 540 seats. And BTEC Robotics and uh, Artificial Intelligence, 60 in Amritapuri, 60 in Bangalore, and 60 in um, Chennai campus, 180 seats. So if you see total seats in the main campus is the highest, 1980. So almost last year, this is last year, last year 2000 seats almost in the Coimbatore campus, 900 seats in the Amritapuri campus. 840 seats in the Bangalore campus, 500, 510 seats in the Chennai campus, 480 seats in the Amravati campus and 120 seats in the Faridabad campus. So total if you see 5250 seats was there last year. Even with 10-15% increase it will be around 6,000 seats, maximum to maximum 6,000 seats across all the campus put together. So that is the information taken all from the mandated discussion document. So best of luck to all of you. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get some other updates.